for 36 years, I've always referred to the county as they, and I've always referred to the city as we, the city of Gaithersburg, as we. And now, they has become we, and it's, it's a big difference for me. I'm getting used to it. On December 1st, 2014, Sidney Katz was sworn in as the representative for District 3 to the Montgomery County Council. I'm looking forward to working with my new colleagues. Um, you know, as a mayor, you have an area, you have a, a municipality. This is all of Montgomery County, though we each have districts, and we're looking forward to, to doing the constituent service and all those things necessary to make certain everybody's quality of life remains as high as it possibly can. In doing so, he had to give up the job of mayor of the city of Gaithersburg. Mayor Sidney Katz. Where he can trace his family back three generations. My mother's side of the family, uh, Wolfson was their last name, came to Gaithersburg in 1918. My grandfather was Jacob, my grandmother was Rose, and um, they came to, to start a store. Uh, my grandfather was a tailor and he made suits. I mean, he was actually a suit maker. Uh, and my grandmother was a seamstress. And actually, I believe if it wasn't the first dry cleaning plant, it was certainly one of the first dry cleaning plants in Montgomery County. They started it. When my grandfather passed away in, in 1954, I would have been four years old at that point, my parents, and, and I had an uncle that, that was also involved in the business, they actually took over the business. At that point, there were some changes. I mean, we really weren't, there was no tailor there as such. So we started having much more ready-made clothes. Now, at this point, I'm four years old, so I'm telling you stories that I've heard rather than things that I saw. But we still sold suits and, and all of those types of things, men's and ladies and children's. We had toys. We had uh, school supplies. We had oil cloth. We had buttons. It was really, I always used to refer to it as a general store without the groceries. Sydney grew up in Gaithersburg attending public school from elementary through high school. He attended the University of Maryland, earning a Bachelor's of Science in Business and Public Administration. He assumed the business side of the degree was what he would use the most. Well, I always thought I was gonna, you know, be in the store. I started fooling around the store when I was 10 years old. I tell people I never worked in the store. I was always in there, and I would always greet people, and I would always talk to people, but I don't know how much I actually ever worked in there till the, till the day I closed it. After graduation, Sidney became a partner at Wolfson's. He was 21 at the time. Soon after, he was approached to get involved with the community. Carol Kearns, who was a, a mentor of mine, he was on the city council in 1976, and he came into the store one day and he said, uh, Sidney, he says, I, we need young people to be involved in the city of Gaithersburg. And uh, Mr. Kearns was one of the, the, the people, the, the, the people in, in life, that if he tells you to do something, you knew it was the right thing to do. You just saluted and you did it. Next thing he knew, he was appointed to the city's planning commission. This is 1976, I was 26 years old. I had never really been to a planning commission meeting prior to that. I guess I'd been maybe to one, but I really didn't have a background in it. But Sidney jumped in and learned the ropes. Then, two years later, Mr. Kearns again urged him to step up, this time to run for the city council. He did, he won, and for the next 36 years, Sidney Katz served the citizens of Gaithersburg. 20 years as council member and 16 years as their mayor. Yes, I, I understand. On November 10th, 2014, Sidney Katz took his seat as the mayor of Gaithersburg for one last time. I cannot sign my resignation without thanking the people of Gaithersburg. I will continue to serve you in a different form. I am looking forward to serving all of the people of the 3rd District of Montgomery County. I have always considered my community to be a part of my family. And last week, our family became a lot larger. I'm changing my title, but not changing my service. Thank you for all that you have done for me. Well, I've just been so happy to work with Sydney. He's always been someone you can come and talk to. He's always willing to be open and, and he'll tell you if he thinks you're wrong just as much as he'll let you tell him that if you think he's wrong. Um, you know, some people are kind of prickly and you have to uh, keep their feathers patted down to, to get somewhere. That's not the case with Sydney. He cares about every person in the whole city. Hello, how are you? Okay. And who's this fellow sitting next to? He does not have a preference for one area or another. I'm sure he will carry that forward. Uh, in his county council service as well. My thoughts are I'm very thankful, I'm most appreciative, and I will continue to try to do my very best for the public.
Gaithersburg. Welcome to Gaithersburg. How are you? To be the mayor of your hometown is, is, a, is a wonderful honor. It truly is. Um, and, and, I, and I truly uh, am very, very uh, pleased that the public allowed me to do something like that. Can you please and after 36 years, there has been one overall highlight. If I had to choose one thing, it's, it's the people that I've gotten to meet. The, the, uh, the, the friends that I've made. I've, I made, when I was the Maryland Municipal League, Maryland Municipal League president several years ago, I, you know, I, I have friends all over the state of Maryland. I mean, you know, I always t tell people, if you have a flat tire in any town, call me, I got a friend there, you know. I walked into the room and I saw your husband sitting there, and I realized that this was going to be a, a, something that I would have heard before you and was going to jog a few memories. That's you know the sure. story. Absolutely. It's yeah. wonderful. It's, it's always good to see you. I can get as much work done in a grocery store as I can in, this, in any meeting. I mean, because people will come up to you and say, you know, I'm glad I bumped into you. This is what's happened, or this is what's taking place. And they'll, you know, you, you find out about it. They, it always concerns me that they might not have told you about something that really is important if they and bumped into in front of the beans and you know in a grocery store or something. Sydney's duties leave him little time for anything else, but one constant in his life helps him cope. Six down. Well, I can tell you what keeps me grounded is a lady by the name of Sally Katz. Rebel Yell University. I mean, that was Old Miss. Every morning, uh, Sally and I do the crossword puzzle together. Sally does the crossword puzzle in general, and every now and then I'll get maybe two words. See that? I knew that. A. For effort. And then our days become very, very hectic. I mean, she's out, I'm out, you know, whatever. We've been married 36 years. As long as Sydney's been elected, we've been married. Actually, he was uh, installed in office. I think the month before we got married. I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, my father had a salesman who uh, sold Sydney's store, sold merchandise to Sydney's Shoes. store. Shoes. Yeah. And um, Sydney needed a date for a um, planning commission event. event. And um, so he asked me out. It was a blind date. Mm -hmm. yeah, which I never did. And what happened, I always tell people the story that, that the salesman, I was friendly with the salesman, I knew him, and, and, he, and he came in and he said, uh, are you dating anybody? And I said, I'm not. And, I, and he says, well, I, you know, my boss's daughter has moved to Rockville, and you ought to call her. And I said, I don't do blind dates. I don't. I, I thank you, but no. So anyhow, he goes back to Baltimore, and he, and he calls and says, look, I'm, this is her phone number. I'm not going to pester you anymore. I mean, I was friendly with him. I'm not going to pester you anymore, but if I were single, if he were single, he would want to date Sally. And as it was, I, I needed to take somebody to this event, and, and so I figured, well, you know, what I got to lose? So anyhow, I did call Sally, and thank goodness she, she was kind enough to go out with me, and more than once, and the rest is history. Sally and I are, are truly blessed to have two daughters. Uh, my our oldest daughter is, is married, and, and she works at, uh, at Churchill High School. She's, uh, she works for the, uh, the principal there and, and truly loves her job. And, and our youngest daughter uh, works for GEICO and lives in Friendship Heights and, and loves her job. Remaining in Gaithersburg since childhood means he's seen a lot of change come to his hometown. This area has changed dramatically during my lifetime. It was really a, a small town, and, and uh, you would, you know, see people pretty much the same people every day or, or, you know, many times in a week. For many years, we were the only Jewish family in Gaithersburg. As I say, I had an, an aunt and uncle that also lived here, but the people were always very, very kind to my family, and, and as I always tell people, everybody loved my mother, and so, you know, everybody was always very, very kind to, to me. I have two older brothers. My brother Terry is a retired lieutenant with the Maryland State Police. My brother Alan is uh, an attorney in, in Gaithersburg. And he and I usually have lunch together every day. Of course, now that I'm on the county council, it, it's uh, several days a week. It's not, it's not every day. So we have friends doing this from time to time as well. So you get advice throughout the day, which is a big help. You know, I think that the only thing I really do for Sydney is I try to tell them the truth. I think that's a very, very valuable thing for any politician to have because a lot of people won't. And, you know, good or bad, you just tell them. He may not always agree with me, but I certainly tell him. Sally has said that, that uh, with my brothers that, and being so close, that the three of us intertwine our limbs to make each other stronger. And that's always been something that, that I believe is correct. In the fall of 2013, 
Sidney made the difficult decision to close the store that had been in his family for nearly a century. You know, it was a mix of emotions. It really was. I'm 64, and at some stage, if I was not going to do the things that I needed to do, I mean, in a small business, you need to be in a small business. And I really was spending more time out of the store than I was in the store because I loved the, the mayor side of my life. I loved the, the public side. And that's the reason I closed my stores, because their daughters, and I don't blame them, did not want the business. My brothers and I owned the building together. And, and I sat down with them, and I sat down with Sally, obviously, before that, and said, is, you know, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be something that, that everybody's going to be okay with? And they all were. But when one door closes, another one opens. Now Sidney had the time to follow through with an idea that folks had often urged him to do. People over the years had been interested in, you know, would always say, Sidney, you ought to run for the county council. You ought to do, whenever you're in office, somebody suggests another office for you to be in. I mean, just the way it works in public office. And so, and I would never do it because I knew that I had the store and, and I was never interested years ago. But then when this one, when people said, you ought to consider it. And I started thinking about it and I figured, well, if I was ever going to do it, I would do it now. Phil Andrews decided not to run for re-election for the council seat. He, he ran for, for county executive. And so that's when I decided, you know what, I sat down with Sally and said, would you be okay if, and she said, fine, and then I tell people, I'm not going to become homeless on this deal. If Sally said, no, we weren't going to do it, no, we weren't going to do it. But she was okay with me trying it, so that's, that's how I got there. Well, first of all, I'm very, very thankful for the public's uh, vote today and, and on, on early voting. Uh, we, we realize that this could happen. I mean, you, when you run unopposed, these things can happen. But uh, we're looking forward to this. We, we uh, have a next chapter in our life, and we're going to see what we can do. I think it's exciting. I do. He's excited, um, keeping him busy. He loves to be busy. I love him busy. And as long as he's happy, I think it's a great thing. I think he's growing a lot, learning things, sharing a lot. So it's, it's great for him and for me. I tell people that I've moved my government office address down the road a piece. That's, that's all I've done in this. And, and of course, I've done a little bit more than that. The district that I'm representing, part of it is Gaithersburg. It's a much bigger area than just Gaithersburg, but part of it's Gaithersburg. And all of Rockville and, and all of Leisure World and, and Washington Grove and, and parts of, of Durwood and parts of uh, Aspen Hill. And so I, it's a much bigger area. But, you know, I, I'm somebody that believes that, that uh, my number one priority should be constituent service. Good morning. How are you? There's legislation that will come up. There's, there's issues that will come up up, but what really affects somebody on a day-to-day -day basis is whether the, the street is plowed or whether there's a pothole in front of their house. And I, I want to make certain that, that the people that live in the third district, and really the rest of Montgomery County for that matter, but especially the third district, feel very comfortable that their government is, is responding to them the way that they should. And that's the mayor training in me. Thank you. See that? I already learned something here. Right? Well, thank you very, very much, Mr. President. And, and As I he moves like on to the next phase of his political career, Sidney Katz continues to be grateful I, I for the chance to serve. And, uh, Montgomery County has, has done a lot for me personally yeah, and for my family. And my this is just an, a, one opportunity for me to help repay them for what, they've been allow that, what they have allowed me to do. And I'm most thankful for it, and I will try my best to be repaying them in the proper fashion.